everyone, Suzanne here. I hope you're all well and welcome to Sew Custom. Today's video is going to be the making of this little number. So if you're interested in seeing that, then let's get started. So starting with the fabric, I'm using this stretch jersey. It's very stretchy across the width and not so stretchy across the length. It's quite drapey and quite lightweight. And then on to the cutting out. So this is my bodice front. I'm cutting this fabric on the fold and to draft this pattern I've just used my knit block. I've straightened off the sides and given myself some kimono sleeves. I've showed how to put on the kimono sleeves onto a pattern in a previous video which I shall link below. So just snipping my notches, one at the hem and one at the neck and that's the front done and exactly the same on the back. So fabric is on the fold, I have my kimono sleeve, I've straightened out the side seam and then I just have a notch at the centre of the neck and a notch at the hem. And then on to the skirt. So the skirt front and back are exactly the same in this pattern so it makes everything super easy. So I have two layers of folded fabric underneath my pattern piece and I'm cutting them out just as one, so just to save a little bit of time. And then I just have a notch at the waistline at the centre and a notch at my 4cm hem allowance. And that's that done. And then the last piece I have to cut out is my cuffs. So I have a cuff for each sleeve. So I have four layers of fabric underneath my pattern piece. So cutting both cu cuffs out at once. Snipping my notches at the center. And that's that done. And now to start to put the whole thing together. So this comes together super quick. So I'm lining up my bodice front with my bodice back, right sides together and first of all lining up the shoulder seams and then I'm just going to stitch those on the overlocker. Again super super quick. So I'm stitching here at my one centimeter seam allowance and that's that done. That's how it looks from the inside so pleased with that. And then for the neckline, I just cut myself a strip of fabric about two inches wide. I folded it in half lengthways and pressed it. And now just to pin that to the neckline. And once I've stitched it in place, I'm just gonna fold it to the underside and then stitch it down with the twin needle from the top. You'll see that in a second. So I've pinned it all in place. And now to the sewing machine this time, and I'm using a zigzag stitch starting at the centre of the back, sticking to my one centimetre seam allowance the whole way around, back stitching at the end, and that's that done. So just showing here again, I'm going to trim that excess fabric away and then I'm going to fold that little band to the inside and then I'm going to top stitch with my twin needle along the top. So off camera I've went ahead and pressed that and pinned it in place and done all of the trimming and now just stitching that down as I say with my twin needle. I'm trying to be as accurate as I can be the whole way around here. And that's that done. So I'm super pleased with this. It's nice and neat and I've just caught the edge of that band on the inside which is exactly what I wanted. So that's how that looks. So it just needs a bit of a press and I'll do that in a second. So now I want to attach my skirt front and back to the waist seam. So this is the front I'm showing here but I do exactly the same on the back. So stitching on the overlocker at my one centimetre seam allowance the whole way across and that's how that looks. And I'm just showing here so that's the front piece in place and the back. And now just to close up the side seams 
So I'm not even pinning here, this fabric seemed to stick together nicely. So again, Mix is like the quickest make ever. <laughs> so once I get to the waist seam here, I'm going super slowly because I want to make sure that everything lines up nicely. Cut my one centimeter the whole way to the hem. And again, I do the same on the other side. And now just to close the cuffs or to pop the cuffs on, I should say. So I'm just folding the cuffs in half and I'm going to stitch along the raw edge to make a bit of a circle. And that's how that looks. So I folded that little circle in half lengthways and then I've placed the raw edges together with the armhole but I've placed the band on the inside because I want this band to be a cuff so I'm going to fold it to the outside once I've stitched it in place. And while I'm here I've just pressed up my hem, pressed it up by my four centimeter hem alliance and then pinned that in place. And I'm going to take that to the sewing machine and twin needle that in place. So first of all onto the cuffs. So stitching on the overlocker as I say at my one centimeter seam allowance and then as I mentioned I'm just turning that cuff to the outside. It needs a good press and a couple of stitches just to hold it down but I'll do that in a second. And then on to the hem. So I'm feeling there the overlock stitches that are in underneath and making sure I'm stitching directly on top so you'll see that in a second. So I've just caught those stitches nicely so I'm super pleased with that. And now I've given the whole thing a nice press. So that's my cuff pressed to the outside. My neckband all nicely pressed. I've got my skirt attached, my side seams are all sewn up. My hem just needs a bit of a press and I can move on to the waistband. So I've decided I want to put some elastic in the waist so all I've done here is I've pushed the skirt pieces through the bodice and I'm going to stitch just where I'm indicating here so I'm going to stitch the whole way around the waist at about a four centimeter seam allowance and that's going to create a nice channel that I can use to thread the elastic through. So first of all I, I have my skirt and my bodice piece on top of one another and I'm stitching that down as I say at four centimeters and then I'm folding that piece up to the bodice the skirt is all pushed to the right hand side and I'm creating that channel so I've left myself a little gap there at the end so that I can thread the elastic through and to do that I've popped a pin in the end of my elastic and I'm just going to thread it through that channel I've created and by the magic of editing I have done that and now I'm just pinning the two ends together overlapping by about an inch a quick try on just to make sure the elastic is fitted enough <laughs> and once I'm happy then I can stitch that down. So to the sewing machine this time, still using the same zigzag stitch, stitching up the side, pivoting, across the bottom, pivoting, up the side again, pivoting and then just closing off that little rectangle, back stitching at the end, and that's my elastic sewn together. And then the last thing I have to do is just to close up that channel, so that little gap that I left. So just zigzag stitching across that on the sewing machine. And that's that done. And that is my dress finished. So I have my neckband all in place, I have my cuffs pressed to the outside and I've just ran a couple of stitches in the ditch. You guys have seen me do that before just to hold those cuffs on the outside. I've got my elastic in at the waist 
my hems all nicely pressed and top stitched. And this is how it looks on. So I love the fit, I love the length, I love the shape, I love the elastic waist, I love how quickly this comes together and one super big bonus with this pattern is that it's so versatile. So I've just changed up the shoes here. So I think I could wear this in all seasons. Love it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, please do. And I shall see you on Friday in my next one. Until then, I hope you have a fantastic week. Bye folks.